Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm on holiday at the moment, hence the slightly strange setup, but I was doing a Q&A over on Instagram recently and I was chatting a bit about how I really feel like I've grown as a person in 2021 and I feel like I've learned a lot about myself recently and I got a few questions asking me to expand on that in a video. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today because I also felt quite inspired with it being the new year. So what I'm gonna hopefully explain in this video might seem really obvious and simple to a lot of people, but this was a massive revelation for me in 2021 and it's really changed the way that I've been living since. And this all basically started when I moved to Copenhagen in August, 2021. And I was living on my own for pretty much the first time ever because before I had always lived with family or I'd always lived with friends but I realized in those first few weeks when I was completely left on my own that I didn't actually know what I enjoyed. I didn't actually really know what made me really happy and I realized that this was because for however many years, certainly the first two years of university, I've been making decisions pretty much based on what I thought I should be doing and not what I actually wanted to do and these were decisions that were also based on what everyone else around me was doing and what the typical expectations of a uni student were and once I was kind of completely removed from that environment. That is when I had that realization. For those first two years, I had not made that distinction yet. I really did think that I was making decisions based on what I wanted to do. To try and articulate this idea, I'm gonna use the example of clubbing and drinking in this video, but I just wanna kind of disclaim here that I am well aware that this is not a massive issue at all in <laughs> the grand scheme of life. And it is quite a trivial thing, but I hope that it allows me to kind of explain where I'm coming from. So in terms of clubbing and drinking, I have done it since I pretty much turned 18 and I was in sick form and I thought that I enjoyed it. However, I only really realized in 2021 when I moved to Copenhagen that that wasn't really true. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy it every now and again, but when I first moved to Denmark, I was going out a lot because naturally it was kind of fresher situation. That's one of the main ways, supposedly, that you get to know people at uni. However, I knew that it didn't really make me happy. I just didn't understand why at the time. And even though that bothered me, I continued to still keep going out until it got to the point where I I felt quite disconnected from myself. And because I was living on my own, I had a lot of time to think about why I felt quite disconnected. And I came to the conclusion that I didn't really know myself and I didn't really understand why I was feeling that way. And I decided that the best way to kind of get to know myself, I guess, was journaling. And I don't really have that much experience with journaling, I'm not gonna lie, but I knew that kind of writing down things would hopefully try and help me dissect why I was feeling certain ways. I started by taking the most important aspects of my life and trying to kind of separate them out and understand why certain elements of them made me happy and why certain elements of them didn't make me happy. And I particularly focused here on things that I was unsure about how I felt or things that I knew made me unhappy. So starting with with the example of clubbing and drinking, I came to the conclusion through just <laughs> waffling in my journal that what made me happy was the social aspect of it. I really liked going out with my friends. I liked meeting new people. But what I didn't like was the person that I became when I drank too much and the decisions that I made and how I felt the next day when I regretted things or forgot things or just generally felt quite hungover. And I did this with other things like YouTube. I I tried to dissect what made me happy, what didn't make me happy. I did this with my social life, the people that I was surrounded by. And most importantly, I tried to understand why I felt this certain way about these things because I feel like when you get to the why of it, that is really when you start to 
understand yourself and you can actually move forward. Of course, it isn't always this simple. You won't always understand why you feel a certain way and this isn't me trying to diminish in any way serious mental health situations or apply my personal circumstances to somewhere where it's not applicable. But now in my journal, looking at all of these things that made me happy and all of these things that made me unhappy, I try to form conclusions and resolutions from those things. And these resolutions were intended for me to eliminate as much as possible the elements that were making me unhappy and maximize the elements that were making me happy. For example, I now understood why I kept going clubbing and I kept drinking so much, even though I knew it didn't really make me that happy. And that was because of FOMO, the fear of missing out. And this is something that I had struggled with for years without really realizing, but now I could kind of see on paper that I wasn't really missing out on anything. The only things that I was missing out on were things that didn't make me happy. And actually the thing that I did like, the social aspect of, I didn't have to miss out on. I just kind of had to create it in other scenarios and environments that did make me happy. And that was kind of my resolution, I guess, with that example. And by creating these resolutions for each aspect of my life, I had in essence sort of created a list of priorities too. So I knew, for example, now where my priorities were in terms of my social life and I knew what would make me happiest. I just want to say though that this isn't me saying there's a right and a wrong priority and there's certain things that you should be doing because everyone leads completely different lives, everyone enjoys different things and everyone feels different things and from that moment on I tried to make sure that I was doing things that were always on that priority list and if anything came up that I wasn't sure about if it wasn't on that priority list I would try and avoid it or change it in some way. I'm sorry that there's so many disclaimers in this video but I do want to point out as well that I'm well aware that I am in a privileged position where I can more easily avoid things that don't make me happy or maximize things that do make me happy and this isn't always that simple but yeah by doing that I really made sure that the second half of 2021 was the best that it could be for me and I feel like that is how I've learned a lot about myself by dissecting all of those elements of my life and really trying to understand why I felt a certain way about them and then making resolutions and priorities that would help me move forwards with them. I realized that this has probably sounded like a big ramble but I hope that the structure of it I guess makes sense and I hope that it's something that you can see how you can apply it to your own life. I'll write up my clubbing and drinking example in the description so you can kind of hopefully see how it flows and how you can come to conclusions and priorities but if you do have any other questions or anything that you want to say, anything that particularly resonated with you then feel free to leave it down below in the comments and I'll try to get around to replying to them. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of spontaneous random video. It's a bit different to my usual kind of content, I guess, but I've enjoyed chatting about it and I'll see you next time. <laughs>